there. The to pick. Brewmaster, for that matter. So, we were starting to get down the tier list with the Underlord pick up on the other side. But uh, still, doesn't feel like the strong. Oh, oh, no, he's going up. So, can they get the flank now is the question. Oh, man. If he goes for this bounty route, he's under percent dead. And actually, they are going to catch somebody. They're going to catch FY on Vengeful. So, they get somebody in the end. The patience pays oh, off for Vichy yeah. Gaming. A Chalice playing it here. This is a pretty comfortable matchup for him. One that uh, he's going to like. And anytime Clock can get a 1v1 melee versus melee matchup, probably feeling pretty good. So, yeah, 16 to 11. Great time there. Meanwhile, top lane, by the way, Tuss. Fenrir actually dead here? No. Not going to be enough damage, I don't believe. Now the shard block on Vengeful Spirit, actually. They could go with Turnfield. They do have a Frostbite after the fact. Meanwhile, Pinter goes down, though, to Vengeful Spirit. He's stuck around a little bit too long. F1, the Rocket Punch, not going to be enough damage. He's Pops up very far. Pops up. is going to go down. They do indeed kill FY just before, actually. But Paparazzi falls in response inside of mana. The bottom lane, and for now, it's just Underlord, actually. Clockwork's doing a bit of roam. He's level 4. Heading towards the middle, has that level 2 battery assault. Invis rear, and always in trouble. He's probably dead here. Not much he can do. Fenrir, meanwhile, top lane going down. Back to Ori middle lane. Easy kill. Yeah, really <laughs> simplest of setup. And I can feel Shadow Fiend as well. 28 and 27. He had 11 denies initially from the Pog, so... He's really, what, uh, 30 now and uh, 17 in a math. That's pretty damn good. That is really good in that middle lane right there for Shadow Fiend. By the way, X Nova, he gets caught. I blocked by Telver Smasher even a little bit. He's trying to sneak by. Finally, though, VG Gaming will do it. Full decision by Chuck. So little life. Top lane, Wave of Terror. Line. Level two. They're out for keeping the distance. They turn their attention to Crystal Maiden. He gets caught in the snowball to go over the turn kill in FY. Looking good so far. Keeping Line M alive for the time being. Great three man tour coming out from more onto the top of the time for God to attack. FY pops us very far to stay alive once again for a little bit longer. But down goes Chenna's army also being locked. FY finishes off Crystal Maiden, but at what cost now? Terrible did get sent back in the midst of this. But the double kill for Paparazzi to take out Vengeful Spirit. Again, the good send back on Terrorblade as that was a lost cause of a die. The top lane this whole time. Literally, it's been a, a, a solo Kunkka versus a solo Shadow Fiend. And I thought Kunkka as a levels added up, maybe he'd be able to kind of recover somewhat. But no, Somnus is absolute domination here in the middle lane. Up for 40 seconds. Don't know if they're going to be able to kill this Gyrocopter, but might make a play for it. Well, with the... Uh, magic Missile setup could have been possible. Chalice, though, he's still running in. Phase Boots active. We're not off here, but plenty of fast to catch up to Paparazzi with the battery itself. But they need to be careful not to go too deep right here. Somnus, also near Vod, trying to land some raises. Paparazzi juking and jiving. Finally goes down to the Magic Missile, but now out comes the Shark. And possible turn potential for the Dire Team, but Ori can't really get close to them in the trees. And with just him and Crystal Maiden, they are all going to survive, actually. I've been successful. Coming out for the Radiant. Meanwhile, down here, you see Underlord deal with Chen nearby. So they pop the smoke, heading towards the bottom lane. Try to gank this Terra Blade. Keep him in check. Right now, second net worth in the game. Chalice is here, though, too. That could stop their efforts. They do connect on Ami. Underlord's caught up in the cogs in the background. Um, does he have center? No, he doesn't have 40 more seconds, actually. And it is going to be enough damage. It looks like all oh, the one is in the last second. Keeps him alive. And even if he dies right here, he's buying so much time now for a response. Finally, he goes down to Paparazzi, as expected. He had to chase plenty. He puts down the call down. He is still running, though, the reflection on top of him, or the mirror image, even. And, yep, Paparazzi will get chased down in the end. So, I mean, he almost has a full Yule's finish to go with the Ring of Akula, as well as the Power Treads. 4,800 gold saved up. Swap middle lane. Wow. For deny, he is only at half life. They would blow him up. Scene. I'm going to try to catch Shadow Fiend. They know how much of a bounty he'd be worth right now. They might kill Underlord in return. They will, but Somnus goes down. That is a big kill coming out for Vici Gaming. You see 746 gold going the way of Gyrocopter. They're really out of the game, but Chalice, he's going to kill him right after, though. 
for a response from LGD. But now Chalice, did he go too deep? The X is going to bring him right back in. Walrus punch, no tour for six more seconds, but the great shard block will secure the kill swapping from FY. Only going to get a self kill, most likely. Xavier's teammate syndrome is real from FY. And yeah, they should be able to just run him down right here. Another shard in one second. There we go. So here's it, Jen. Get bodied out. Tonka, the army of Jen. However, Crystal Maiden's there. Help kill off at least one of them. Whew, top lane, Underlord. Do they have like a Solar Crest? Well, Metallion at least on Chen so far, so even more to work with coming out there. So that's uh, a lot of damage enhancement from the Radiant side. Whoa, they dive deep. Underlord right here does not have a Dark Rift just yet. No Shrine use either, but out comes the Rum. He is drunk, baby. He's going to stay alive for the time being. Ventral Spear will go down to Underlord. Not enough, however. The urn was put on him. Why up why to secures the kill, and now Chalice trying to make some jukes out of here. As a DP, I don't think he's getting out of this one, though. As there's four heroes running him down. Take it. And a god. Is leveled up though, and he'll use it actually to. Oh, he'll have a bottom leg. He's finally finding down here. That's why he swaps in his teammate to stay alive for the time being. Now the turn. Yules up on Kanka. Requiem right explosion right on top. Easy setup. Easy kill. They also run down the race connect. Morphosis form. This is going to be another tower kill. This is one of those games where you have to remind yourself we're only 15 minutes in. And you see the massive lead that LG already has. 7,000 net worth. Four of the top five net worth in the game all belong on the inside. Oh, off to the side, though. Crystal Maiden, he got caught in no man's land. <laughs> there, nuts or so. Error Blade, he's not too far behind him either. His S the line finished, and now he has his TKB queued up. It's gonna be a little bit longer before he hits him, but. This chalice, uh oh. Setting it quick. As a hook shot as well, there's the cock block. You know, I mentioned earlier how the clockwork pick this game, maybe it wasn't necessarily the the greatest as far as on paper. Ame? Oh, he's gonna get caught actually. He did Sunder. That's my point in a second. And they do eventually, maybe the, the, the greatest clockwork game. Now, eventually, Final Fantasy Shadow Fiend made more sense. Was always gonna be good against Jarrow Copper for being a cog trap, but honestly, Chalice has done a hell of a job for controlling the pace of this game as well. As I say that, he completely whips, uh, <laughs> whips the hook shot, but you know what? He's still going to be here to set up a kill on a normal It's like the snowball save initially actually keeps him alive. And it will allow Levin to fall back to fly the bit of the house. Got to come out of response as well for the Radiant team at the fight breaking out. More flat cannon auto attacks with that call down. Chen will barely die after. Somnus is going to be sent back in time. He was almost dead himself. He got the Requiem off before being sent back. But still, the Crimson Guard is going to be his item of choice. And this game, you're dealing with a decently farmed Terrorblade Shadow Feed even. Like it feels pretty good, all the minus armor we talked about, but if they keep killing him like that, then... But Firestorm will give it away. So now he does 11 seat. He's going to go for a record play. Heals maybe. Pops his PKP for this. He really wants to kill. Here's the Requiem, and there goes a nine. Feels to be like almost 10 seconds or so. The other team's running over, but by the time they get here, it's probably going to be too late. Although the shards, the chalice close with the cogs block, though. That'll stop them from pursuing, if anything. However, there's still a good damage block that gets forced after ways. Aegis is picked up from Ame. That VG Gaming wants to commit, though. BKB pop from Paparazzi. So is Ame. Underlord, he's like, we got to get out of here. Pops the Dark Rift. The Uber is here. Can they make a four staff play? It doesn't look like it. They do kill Kanka, though. So they get something out. Absolutely a big deal in that fight and securing the Roshan, so Terra Blade Metamorphs is still active. Nice magic missile connects on 11. Clockwork goes in with a hook shot. They go Tusk. Paparazzi keeping his distance. No BKB currently to 30 seconds. So yeah, he's just staying really far back using that flat cannon. Best he can. Expensive component. Take care of already. He's wrapping around Somnus. Level 21, by the way. He's looking for a kill. Cogs will block out Jarrow for now. 
They're out trying to find a way to chase, but I don't know if you really want to be chasing this. The send back, but it's going to be brought back by the X. The send back into a port pack, but Shadow Fate's like, all right, let's go, baby. The Requiem, no, he's going to cancel it due to the snowball. He pops it after the fact. If you can't be on Pop Rocks, it keeps alive a little bit longer, but we just know how much physical damage this Radiant team is doing. It's showing off yet again. Triple, but he's dead for 40 seconds, so, I mean, he pretty much, even if he fights back here, you know, what are they going to do kind of deal. So maybe give a one Rax. But if they go for a second one, he probably has to game is stoked ways. Here. Chen. I mean, you gotta buy back, right? It's like, buy back or you might as well GG. Alright. Well, I guess it's the third option. Just give up both the racks and then <laughs> stay in the game, but... Reflection. Down the tower, just boss his BKB, it's a screw it, let's just go for it now. Get you gaming. Looking for their angle, they do not have fortification, of course. Blockwork, initial stun the homing missile, but block it off, he's plenty tanky. Players here! Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Low and steady wins the race. That's the mentality that LGD's going for right now. And here we go, full throttle. Got a hand of God to save everyone for the time being. Fenrir, he went too deep. Maybe not. He has a flank. Nope, never mind. Sounds like, gotcha. No Requiem needed for him. Beats him down with a couple of raises and some auto attacks. BKB popped by Paparazzi as he just simply runs away with it. So Metamorphosis, of course, back up, ready to go for Terrorblade. Although, again, not overextending. He does have a Sunder. Normally, if this was like, I don't mean. I know this hero is just known for rapid farming and everything, but this has to be one of the better performances on a Shadowfiend farm-wise that we've seen in a while. Paparazzi, he's he's dead. So Stump your coming. He runs into a double damage Terror Blade and dies shortly after, even despite the BKP. So I mean, he's gonna have to buy back here, obviously. No Divine Rape here now, coming back in, last stand absolutely here for Beachy Gaming, but it's not, not, not surprisingly going to be a lost cause. There's the Mega Creep, the send back on Clockwork keeps him alive. Oh, send back, that's just one of many reasons why this hero's initially banned in so many games right now. GG well played, I gotta say, this is this is not the same LGD we saw in the group stages, I gotta be frank about that, I mean, that's an Olaf Group A over there. Got to see them a couple of times. You know, they, they, they even dropped a game to one of the open qualifiers. Be the greatest either into the OD matchup as well, so... I'm really sure that the band feels a little odd to me. The creeps with it. Again, lacking the regen. You can have some tangos once again, but a lot of free time for the OD. Really get further ahead now. Bottom lane. Nova is going to be rolled on. Ami is here. Metamorphosis is currently on cooldown. However, just his presence alone is enough, and you just see Witch Doctor picking up the restoration at level 3. I feel like that's kind of a player preference thing, from Witch Doctor to Witch Doctor. Some will see get that level 2 Maledict as soon as possible, others will see the, the 1 point value due to restoration. Middle in here, TP coming in, that's Tusk. Bugna, he's in trouble. All of a sudden realizes an Ice Shard block. You do have Fenrir nearby, he rolls way past him though on the other side. Ori, Decrepify, we'll save for the time being, though. Atlanta M now TP's in. And now it's FY, the one that's in trouble. Somnus does not have his save. One more auto attack. He can't get it off, though. Ori down about 15 life. Manages to stay alive for the time being. Earth Spirit's going to roll out. He'll be fine. Ori dies to neutral creeps. But OD, his start continue to look very good. Can't forget about Morphling, though. Speaking of a very good start. Barazzi. 
Power treads on the way after the ring of Acula. Yep, oh, nope, missing middle lane meanwhile. Ori goes down actually. FY coming once again. Somnus Sanity's Eclipse will take out Earth Spirit and land it. Top lane, by the way. Nyx Assassin. He's being bodied quite a bit. He's gonna hit level 4 here, but. Paparazzi has a pretty nice level advantage over him. Bottom lane, Maldix up. The Ice Run blocks somewhat. 11. He's dead. Gonna put down the Firestorm in the Pit of Malice. In response, trying to maybe buy some time for a turn kill, but no. Fenrir just gonna run. He's only level 2 himself, so the level... Not looking too good for Vichy Gaming either. I mean, the cores are okay, but the supporting cast especially. Look at that. 3-3-2 three, and three, compared to all level 4s. As I say this, FY's rolling in. Doesn't have a TP, though. I think he's in trouble, finally. We've seen him get away several times. Not this time, though. That was personal running. Smoke play. Again, Beachy Gaming gonna try. Metamorphosis form is active currently. They find the Tusk, actually, and blow him up with another blow. Knows the Nyx, and now Nyx knows that they know. <laughs> All of a sudden, the creep is running after him. Wait a second, something's up. I actually saw this, he's hanging around here a little bit too long. Nether Blast, on double life drain, they burst him down the way from forward. Somnus alive for the time being though. He puts under onto Morphling actually, instead of himself. It allows him to keep running a course to crap and fight. Coming out, Nether Blast is a point though by the Snowball. They're going back in for a kill now. Somnus, he has to fight because of this. He avoids into the way for him actually, but the motor smash connects and allows Morphling to finish him off. No, once again, the actual Brisbane is saved today. Nova, can he save his teammate? Comes out with the sanity of the clip, going for the kill on a Morphling. is also going for the strength shift. He gets another kill, double kill for Somnus. Finally falls when it's all said and done, but he did plenty of damage. And Tusk, he's going for Paparazzi, does not connect. Maladic, though, is going to do some work right here. The cast bounce back, the Death Ward, and they finally kill Paparazzi. For the first time this game. Somn is... OD, four staff taken care of, and... He likes the idea of going an Orchid next, actually. Oh, bottom lane, they kill terribly, that's big. Dumping him right there, but so much for catching up. Now with him dead. Warplings back up and heading right towards the bottom lane. Push the tower now. Nature's profit. Oh no, no, they know Nyx Assassin again. They have the sentry down, but Nyx is gonna get the opening still. And Ori will fall. The urn comes out. However, Nyx Assassin now. Being gone on Morphling, took him over initially, uses the impel against him. And he'll burst him down. Set adapt to strike, but now more response. This one from OGD, Fenrir. Gonna get Walrus Punch, set up a couple of Arcane Orbs, great hero block as well to give him to OD. But it definitely feels like LGD could defend here. That Nether Ward's doing a little bit of work. Zapping nearby. FY catches, but. Don't think he's gonna catch up to them and actually gonna go too far because of the snowball. They turn him and they easily take out Tusk. Draft. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Terrible, man. Middle lane witch doctor. The Aetherland's life drain, not enough though. Dyer's top tower. Now, turn potential. Here comes Nova. Once again, the cast bouncing back and forth. He could not get the Maladic top initially. He gets turned, actually. He finally gets it off. Only on Earth Spirit, though. So, fuck that line for now. The Shard's gonna miss. Sanity's Eclipse will take out Earth. It's actually really good again, so. That, uh. See if he gets sooner than later. Paparazzi, his shotgun build's coming. Ghost Scepter's finished. Just needs the Eagle Song. The easiest job. Plan M. In trouble. Dallas, three seconds on the Impale. I pop the wand for now. Impale's not easy to land. <laughs> they land and make it a difficult. The Death Ward, though, trying to secure it. It will, but they went pretty far for this. Maledict, though. Oh, no, he has to respect that at least. Bit of Malice trapping out Ex Nova, so it's gonna kill him perhaps. The imprisonment. It's gonna last long enough. The Boulder Smash goes through. Well played by Fenrir. This does have his BKB now. Bottom lane, old flower here, though, for BG. So here we go, Nyx Assassin's getting them out initially. There is a sentry over here, he needs to be careful. He's in range now, Spike Carapace. They see him, he stuns himself though, does Earth Spirit. <laughs> and they're gonna initiate with the Snowball, so top goes down, Will Jibblade poured in. Not coming just yet. Well, it looks like they are gonna hold the Nether Ward. 
in plenty of spam before being cut off. Great boulder smash on three heroes. Blink tagger away from Chalzo. Well played. A paparazzi. He's still Tusk? Okay. Like, I just saw the snowball on the other side. Underlord, Maudic is up. Terrorblade's pushing tier three now. Paparazzi finally points back, but now the rating team, they know they have an opening. They do not have to deal with the core on the other side of Morphling. Tusk, he goes in with the snowball. He's like, yeah, I'm a little bit better at it. Sanity to the Eclipse, getting two kills. On Underlord as well as Earthspin, it's going to set up a third, most likely on Pugna. They run down Nature's Prophet in the meantime, and Pugna, boom, goes the dynamite. Hat trick coming out for some, good for now. OD, another imprisonment, and going to put him under. They got a cask bounce. Walrus punch, there's a walrus punch cask. Maledict, it's enough. Did he take over? Yeah, he took over Paparazzi. Oh, excuse me, he took over OD. <laughs> The desperate play does not work out, so. His morph will be on cooldown a little bit. He actually didn't hit 18 iron there, so. Meanwhile, Pugna, he's gonna be jumped by Nyx Assassin. Tusk assists. And they get a kill, and there's more coming, so Fenrir, and he needs to get away. It's not his Underlord, already TP's out, but. Her spirit, he's not getting away. Most ideal. OD, by the way, zone PKB now finished in seconds. Got somebody here middle end. That's Underlord. Yields on up. Brings him on down. Maledict. I'm going to secure this one. Bandage. Yeah, caught that Nether Ward. <laughs> Just the constant zap of the video restoration. I guess that's kind of a decent tool for, for trying to figure out where it is, if anything. <laughs> it's not doing the most in return, anyways. Buyback from Underlord. Terrible. Meanwhile, he's pushing the top lane. He's got the reflection up as well as the metamorphosis. Paparazzi having to fall back. He still has his morph, by the way. We'll see. Paparazzi makes good use of that. He takes over next assassin, misses the impale due to the Yules. And actually, great port away from Chalice. Using the blink dagger. Sandy is on Cliffs. Comes down. Dieback for Underlord. Buyback, by the way, on Pugna. As he died earlier on as well, but Paparazzi just keeping his distance. But Earthspirit going down. They're going in. Pugna's going to die. Another triple kill for Somnus. And GG's are called. It'll be a victory of 2 0 for LGD here against Vici Gaming. I came into the series, no doubt, I'm sure, like plenty of other people, expecting, if anything, a, you know, a fairly close series.